We begin tonight with another example of anti-Asian hate that has come to the forefront during the pandemic. A Richmond couple was in court today over an ugly incident at a Stevenson coffee shop. Then, one of the accused hurled a racist slur before she entered the courtroom. CTV's Angela Jung has the story. Don't touch me. Don't touch you right, I'm you. A racial slur directed at a CTV News cameraman of Asian descent. It caught us by surprise, as did this. The woman, Astrid Maria Scrieve, and co-accused Michel Jean-Jacques Bertillon faced court Friday over an alleged racist incident, both charged with mischief under $5,000. Back in March 2021, the couple was asked to move tables after violating a COVID-19 safety measure at the Steveston coffee shop. But they refused and instead allegedly did this to the worker. When they walked past by me, the lady was actually pouring the leftover coffee right on my face and my body and said something, F you Chinese. And outside, the employee captured this. I in another court appearance over this matter, Berthiom did not hold back. This is Canada, and we have free speech. If we don't like Chinese, we can say it. And I don't like Chinese, and I say it. Advocates against anti-Asian hate hope the justice system can stop the onslaught of discrimination and racism. Second, I saw this, I feel very scared, actually. Then I feel very angry because I feel nobody should be treated like that. Stay out. In court, Berthiom repeatedly told the judge his ex-wife has dementia. Grieve denied it and later started to cry. We hope they can get educated from the result, the, the judgment, whatever the judgment is. Now these protesters will have to wait a little while longer for justice. The trial has now been adjourned with a new one slated for mid-September. Angela Jung joins us now. Angela, that racial slur is really triggering for many Asians and it's disturbing to still hear it in 2022. So let's talk about the court case now, though. There's a new trial, but the accused doesn't seem to be very cooperative. Yeah, that's right. And we still haven't seen anything like this before. They both don't currently have a lawyer. Berthium is refusing to accept any disclosure materials that the Crown is trying to provide them. Now their next court appearance is five months from now on September 15th. Mi Jung? All right. Thank you, Angela.